guys. It's Sydney from I Inhale Books, and in case you didn't see my beautiful Gilmore Girls collection here, uh, this is a Gilmore Girls related tag um, video. It's a tag, I just gave it away. Whoopsies! Um, I am doing the Gilmore Girls book tag today, and I thought that I would feature my Gilmore Girls series in this. If you hear weird noises, it's just my dog. Um, and these are the seven seasons. Well, actually, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. These are just this is just six because the fifth season is in my room, and I'm too lazy to go get it. So these are just one through three, one through four, and then six and seven because it's in there. Anyway, um, today I'm doing the Gilmore Girls book tag, and I'm just gonna jump right in because. Yeah. Anyway, the Gilmore Girls book tag was created by Pucks and Paperbacks, and um, I will try to remember to put the link to the original video in the description box below. Um, this is a Gilmore Girls related tag, like I said, and, and in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm a little bit obsessed. Um, I watched, started watching Gilmore Girls when I was about 12 or so years old, and I've been watching it ever since. I'm almost 23 years old now, and I've probably, since I was about 16, have watched it over 20 times, and I'm re-watching it now. Um, I have an obsession. So, yeah. Let's just get into it now. Um, question number one whoop, is, that's my question. Um, number one is Lorelai, a character with a witty or sar sarcastic sense of humor. Um, actually, the first character that came to mind for this question was Jace from the City of Bones uh, Mortal Instrument series. Um, yeah, you, you decided to start work renovating now. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, yeah, Jace is a very sarcastic and witty character that I, like, um, as far as I remember, which you can't really forget Jace, anyway. Um, so yeah, he's the first one that came to mind, and he kind of, now that I think about it, reminds me kind of like a male Lorelai. Thinks he's all that, and, you know. Anyway, um, question number two is Rory, your, Rory, your favorite classic. Now, I've only read a few classics. I'm not big into classics. I want to get more into classics. I own a lot, but I just, I haven't read many. So, um, I do have two. The first one I don't own, and the second one I do. Uh, the first one is Macbeth by William Shakespeare. I remember very vividly reading this in school and enjoying it a lot, and um, I would definitely say it's one of my favorites. And the second is The Canterbury Tales by Chaucer. I think when we were in school, I only read like a part of it, like a they had like one story because I think there's like many stories in here because it says the merchant's tale, the clerk's tale. So I think, I don't remember if we read it all or not. I'm going to have to go through and read this and see. But definitely those two are my favorite classics. Um, number three is Luke, a book you secretly love but you are afraid to admit. Um, I would have to say Twilight for this one by Stephanie Meyer because um, when I thought about this question at first, I was like, I don't think that I really have a book that I'm ashamed uh, to like. I enjoy most every book and like to share my enjoyment of every book. Um, if someone asks if I like Twilight, I say, actually, I don't like it. I love it. It was one of my favorite books. Um, I do sometimes am a little hesitant because a lot of people are very negative towards Twilight. But most of the time, I just admit it because it's a book. Who cares? Anyway. Number four is Lane, um, a musical character. Um, when I first read this question, I was dumbfounded. I was struck with a total loss of whoever this character is going to be. But then when I first, when I came over here to start the video, I actually came across, came across three that I remembered right off the top of my head. And the first two are Adam and Mia, or Maya, I think it's Mia, from If I Stay. Um, she's a celloist, I believe, and he, or violin, cello, cello, right? And he's a guitarist, and they're, that's how they kind of came together. It's because they're both very musically talented. Um, and the next one is Dexter from This Lullaby. Um, Dexter is the boy that, this is one of my favorites, and Dexter is the boy that the main character dates. And she's very hesitant to date him because he's a musician, and that's why I remember so much. Anyway. Um, number six. Hear that? Yeah, that's the next next door. Anyway, uh, number six is Dean, your first book love. 
Um, my first book of love would have to be Edward Cullen, and I would actually say that I fell in love with him in this book. Um, you're thinking you fell in love with him in the book he ran away from her from? No, I fell in love with him because this is such a moving book, and it just made me love Edward even more, even though he ran away. Um, it made me hate him and then love him again, but definitely my first book love, and I'm not ashamed. Um, number seven? Yeah. Number seven. Suki, a book you devoured. And um, for this one, I put Cinder by Marissa Meyer. When I first started the series, I was really excited because I'd heard so much about it, and I had waited and waited and waited till winter came out to start reading it. Um, I actually read this book really quick. I read it in like a week, which is it's not quick for me. I normally could read a book in three days, but I, I, I was busy, and I couldn't believe I finished it so quickly, and I craved it, and I wanted to read and read and read as much as I could. Sorry, I'm putting the paper around. So that would definitely be a book I devoured. Um, number seven is a book you love that gets the most hate. And that's Jess. I didn't mention that. Jess is definitely my favorite character, and I get a lot of hate for that. Um, um, that would be Allegiant. Um, I remember when I first uh, started reading, or when I first finished it, and I talked about liking it, I saw a lot of people hating on it because I understand why they hate it. But I enjoyed the book overall, like the whole story of the book. I hated the ending, but I loved the actual book in and of itself. So I'm not really ashamed of that. It's a good book. Um, number eight is Miss Patty, a book ruined by the hype. And for me, it was Anna and the French Kiss. I had heard a lot about this book from a lot of booktubers, and I had picked up Anna, Lola, and Isla and just didn't jump right into them. It took me about a year before I actually got into them. And I didn't like it. I didn't like this one at all. I enjoyed Lola and I Love It. This one, I think, just because I was so excited for it and I thought that it was going to be the best book in the world, it didn't turn out as amazing as I thought it would be, which was a letdown for me. Um, number nine, uh, Emily, an expensive book. My most expensive book on my shelf would have to be Winter. It's $23, and that's probably the most I've spent on a book is this right here. And I spent good money on it. I think I got it actually cheaper, but that's it's pretty expensive. Um, Paris, an uptight character. Now, for some reason, when I was watching one of these tags, this is the character that popped into my head. Um, um, Auden from Along for the Ride. I remember her being a very uptight character in the beginning. She kind of just liked to sit alone and do nothing and this character that she that she befriends tries to get her to go out and do stuff and she really doesn't want to. I think she's hesitant on doing a lot of things. She opens up a lot during the book but I just see her as an uptight character in the beginning. Um, now the two bonus questions that I got off of Bookables video um, was Richard, a character death you will never get over because the character who played the, the actor who played Richard died last year, I believe, and um, I'm very sad about it. Um, but I would have to say a character that dies in this book was very traumatic, and I will never get over it. And I'm totally stealing Bookable Bookable's answer, but it's the truth. No matter how much I love this book, I didn't like who died in it. So, anyway, the last question is Logan. Logan, a character who's gone through the most development. And I have to say, because I recently read this book, I would have to say Jessie from Tell Me Three Things. In the beginning, she's very like closed up, and she doesn't want anything to do with her new stepmother and her new stepbrother or her new school or anybody in her new school. And as you read through the book, she grows and grows and grows, and she is such a better character in the end and she definitely develops a lot in this book um but that's all the questions for the gilmore girls book tag um i hope you guys enjoyed i am gonna go watch gilmore girls now no i'm just kidding um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and any others that you've watched please subscribe to my channel and comment down below any suggestions for any other videos you'd like to see, book tags, book reviews, 
anything like that, any book challenges, any non-related book challenges would be okay too. And don't forget to go check out my Instagram. It will be in the outro. I'll probably forget to put it into the description because I haven't made a description that I copy and paste into every one of my videos yet because I'm lazy. So I do have an intro and an outro now because I found some apps that I can make them on. So the my Instagram, just my Instagram, book Instagram will be in the outro. So check that out after the video ends. Don't just turn it off. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, which I already said. So I, I repeat myself a lot. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And don't forget to sniff a book. See you later. Bye.